Hi, I'm Peg, here to lead you through a typical day in the life of a biological technician while on board a spring or fall bottom trawl survey. NOAA's New England Fisheries Science Center has been conducting these surveys since the 1960s to gather fisheries independent data in the Atlantic from Cape Hatteras, North Carolina to Nova Scotia, Canada. The purpose of these surveys is to determine the seasonal distribution, relative abundance, and biodiversity of fish and invertebrate species found on the continental shelf. The crew's objectives are to collect biological samples for age determinations and growth studies, fecundity, maturity, and feeding ecology. Fishery scientists use the data to assess stocks of commercial and recreational fish and invertebrate species in the northeastern United States. Almost 400 stations are surveyed each season. The first thing we do when we arrive at a station location is cast the Conductivity Temperature Depth Unit, or CTD, to gather oceanographic data. This is a CTD. Up top, we have an open Niskin bottle. At depth, it closes to bring a water sample to the surface. Below is the CTD unit itself. The altimeter measures depth. The pump sucks in water so the unit can read temperature and salinity. The bongos are two side-by-side -side plankton nets used to gather, you guessed it, plankton samples. After CTD, it's time to set out the net. The black rubber rock coppers ensure the bottom of the mouth of the net roll along the ocean floor. Orange floats keep the head rope up while metal plates called doors hold the wings and mouth of the net open. Sailing at three knots for 20 minutes gives us a distance of one nautical mile per station. Steel toe boots protect your feet from water and danger. Foul weather gear keeps your body dry. Wear safety gear. Jumping through doors is not safe. Crane delivers the net to the checker where the haul is first dropped. From there, the fish are pushed through a door onto the first conveyor belt, which carries them into the wet lab to another conveyor belt. Organisms are sorted by species into buckets. Then it's time to collect data from individual organisms. Every fish must be measured first, some at their fork length, some at their total length. Squid and octopus at their mantle length. Crustaceans like crabs and lobsters, carapace length is measured. Here, calipers are being used, then the lobster is weighed, and then checked for signs of shell disease, any barnacle growth. Some fish, like this four-spot flounder, are dissected after they are measured and weighed. First, we must determine gonad maturity. This gonad extends far back into the body cavity, therefore it is a female. Slightly purple bruising tells us that this is spent. The age of bony fish can be determined using ear bones, or otolus. Located in the skull under the brain, we must remove them and store them in labeled envelopes to be taken back to the lab. Lacking external claspers, we know this is a female skate. Inside, we can determine the stage. These are mature ovaries with no eggs, while these are mature ovaries with eggs and an egg case present. 
Next we find the stomach. We want to know what the animal eats and how much of it. About 1.2 cubic centimeters. We've got some Crangonidae shrimp and some polychaete, polychaete, polychaete. We got a small cancer crab and another small cancer crab and some well-digested animal remains. Sometimes we get some pretty interesting stomach contents. Some organisms that are not dissected are labeled and put into the freezer to be saved for further examination and research on land. Fish requiring a quick freeze get put into the negative 80 degree freezer. Safety goggles and safety gloves are required when adding formalin to stomach sample jars. These are also saved to be further examined in the lab on land. Once everything is cleaned up and put away, we might have some time before the next station. For the galley, get some coffee, or maybe even a snack. One might be motivated to work out, play a fun game, or just think about the organisms. One. Two, three, four. Data.